Well, hello and welcome to this video number three, the workshop also number three. And to start with this video, it's very important that you have this uh, database on SPSS. Uh, the important thing is that you have the variables that matter for your model. So for each of your, depending on your group and depending on the uh, relationship that you want to test, for example, I think group number one is uh, financial stress and student happiness. So the connection between these two. Uh, you need to have the, all of these variables plus the control variables in your SPSS data set. Uh, that's something that you can do, or you can just borrow my uh, data set. I will also share it with you, but be careful because this one has a lot of data. Like it has all the variables, the 86 that we have. So maybe that's too much. Maybe it's better if you use your own data set. So whatever, uh, whatever is your choice, uh, it's important that you have the data on SPSS. So the first analysis that we are going to do, because actually the previous video was only input data. The first analysis that we are going to do is that something that we call the reliab internal reliability test. Now you remember from the trustworthiness lecture about this concept, internal reliability test. We want to show that the, um, that the variables that we have are actually showing uh, what, uh, or we are actually measuring what we want to measure. The variables that we have are actually measuring the concept that we want to measure. And to do that, there is something very important. We want to show that the, since we ask four times for happiness, we want to show that uh, on the one hand, not everyone answers exactly the same. Not everyone answers 10, 10, 10, 10, or one, 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 because that would be uh, um, maybe the wrong thing. Like, uh, why are we asking the same thing four times? if They have the same answer. So on the one hand, we don't want everyone to answer exactly the same. But on the other hand, we don't want people to give very random numbers. Like for example, in one question they answer 10 and in the next question they answer one. That's very strange. Why you are so happy in one question and in the other one, you are not that happy. Both situations show that the questions are wrong, that the questions uh, are, uh, are not uh, asking the correct thing. So we are going to test for that, for that internal reliability of each of our variables. If you, if you take a look, at, at the variables that we have in here. Here we have something a bit strange. The person in here responded to happiness on, as six, four, three, nine. It seems a bit weird, right? Like maybe three is too low. Then we also have some numbers in here, 10, 10, 10, 10, that's what we don't want. But uh, we cannot, just by looking at it, say, if it is reliable or not, just with that, we need to do the test because maybe it's only one person who answered like this. Maybe it's only one person who answered like this, or maybe it's, it's still okay. That's what we need to do the test. So let's start with the test. To do the test, you need to go to analyze and then to uh, this, that is the um, scale and then reliability test and you will get this square. So what you are going to do is to select your dependent variable. I am doing happiness uh, just because I started with happiness, but you select whatever you want to select. SRI intentions, SCB or global minds. So let's start with happiness. And then I select the four and then move them to items. And then I click okay. And then you will get this new window in the response. What matters is this, the Kronbach alpha. We generally assume that we want to be somewhere in between the 0 0.5, 0 0.6 minimum and no more than 0 0.9. 0 0.4, it's also okay. I think 0 0.4, it's also okay. I will share with you the references on these numbers, but let's say 0 0.4 is the very, very minimum and 0.9, 0.95 is too suspicious, it's too high. Something like 0.99 or one will be if everyone answers one, 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 or 10, 10, 10, 10, like exactly the same. And something very low or even negative, it can be even negative, 
means that the numbers are totally random, that it doesn't make any sense. So we are very good in here. We have 0.771. That means that the happiness questions are very, very good. So I will give you a spoil because I have done all the tests and we actually have excellent numbers in all of the variables. I already did the test for everything and we have excellent bar results except in one. It's only one from all the uh, 86 questions is the one that we have approved. is with the sustainable consumer behavior. Uh, sustainable consumer behavior has four questions. And if we do the test, we get this sad number, 0.231. That's too low. Even with the threshold or 0.4 is too low. We have an issue in there. It's also good pedagogically that we have this issue because if, if everything, everything was so good, then we wouldn't have space to learn. <laughs> so we have uh, something to learn. And don't worry, if you are in the in this, I think it's 20, 20s, I think, or 10s, in these groups where you are using sustainable consumer behavior, don't stress. We are, we are going to start to, to solve this. And it's also good that we have it so you know how to solve this problem. So how to solve this question uh, is to remove the problematic questions. There might be questions that are problematic and maybe we can remove them from here. So you literally is trial and error. So you start with this, you remove uh, the number four and then you the test and it's even worse. So let's remove, uh, maybe we include the, that one and then we, uh, so we include number four again and we remove number three. So 1.465, that's a bit, but that's actually quite good. It, it has uh, quite a high number. So actually the best one is 0.65, this one with number three. So what, what you can do now is to say that uh, S, SCB, uh, the com we, I mean, like you should do the combination of everything. I already did it. And I know that SCB, that if we remove the tree, if we remove the tree, that's the one that's creating the problem. If we remove that one, we have 0.465, which is okay. It's a bit low, but it's still okay. It's still on the threshold. You do the test and you see, you, you will see which one is better. So in this case, take note of this. Uh, especially these groups who are doing sustainable consumer behavior, we had to remove question number three because it was creating problems. If you take a look at the survey, question number three is actually a bit strange. Question number three asks uh, if you shop in, in online, uh, I think, it, do you shop in big uh, stores? I think that's the question. So I believe that uh, that question uh, can be a bit problematic. I go shopping in large stores. Maybe in the context of Sweden, that con that uh, that can be problematic because big stores kind of dominate. So it's almost impossible that someone doesn't shop in a large shop. That is different in other con in other countries context or countries. I believe this paper is based in Italy, and maybe there there is different. Or I can tell you in Mexico, there are people who never go to Walmart. So in other contexts, it's possible. Maybe in Sweden, it's impossible. I actually think if you take a look at the numbers, nobody answer never or this totally disagree. So probably because of the context, SCB3 is problematic. Still is quite low. So I think we, we might have, um, uh, it's maybe it's not the best instrument, but it's still all right. Besides this SCB, everything else works. I have done all the tests and everything else works. So you do it as well. If for some reason you identify a better combination that I did, let me know and, and we can work on that. But so far, uh, let's keep SCB1, SCB2 and SCB3 as the questions for uh, SCB uh, if you are dealing with that. So basically what you need to do in this, uh, in this, uh, part or this step of the analysis is to do uh, the uh, the Kromba Halfa test of all of your variables. So also for financial stress, if that's if that marks to you, look, it's very good 7.6. Uh, 
uh, also for, I will pick a random one, like relationships. 773 is very, very good. Actually, it's not that common that we get these very good variables. Another quick uh, thing is that uh, for professional aspirations, I don't know why we only have four questions. I don't know, maybe it was my mistake when doing the survey, maybe I missed one. But uh, in the even with four questions, it works very well. So no problem at all. So I think that uh, do, do this test, Take note of all the Cronbach alphas of the variables that matter. So as an aggregate, take notes of all the numbers. And it's only SCB where you will have an issue. And you solve that issue by removing SCB3, which is problematic, and then it works out well. So uh, that's the end of this video where we tested for internal validity.